What up, y'all? It's your man, Abu American. I am back with a little studio upgrade. Got me a little Logitech 4K freaking uh, live streaming camera. Should be using that on Dude Party. Sorry I missed it this Saturday. It is what it is. I was traveling. I'm going to give you guys a, uh, uh, an update on that. That was actually, be, that'll be a field report in the soon to be relaunched Abu American website. This is a paid video, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on like channel updates, but just let you guys know. You know, I've been like upgrading the equipment that I'm using and whatnot just uh, off of what you guys have been paying me. And it's been impressive. I thank you guys very much. You keep me in the game. It's going to allow me to get more information out to you guys, more pertinent and uh, actionable information, which is what we have right here. Try not to get distracted by the background, guys. Okay? Pay attention. So, this is a gentleman. I forgot what his online. Um, anonymous name was I don't want to spend a lot of time scrolling we talk quite frequently on Twitter but let's just say the guy there was a video I did a little while back the guy uh, he wanted to smash his fiance they're Muslims and she was like no it's haram it's forbidden you know sex before marriage and it was correct and I told him he was being unreasonable and then if he felt like she took the frame from him in terms of like you know controlling the situation saying there's gonna be no sex then what he should do is retake control of the situation by pushing the marriage date forward or getting an Islamic nikah so that he can be with her halal and then just do the wedding whenever you know because Islamic marriage allows her to be permissible to you and then the wedding is more like for the community so the people know that she's taken he's married to her and whatnot you know who she's taken by this is more for the community and the people to understand uh, that you know this is a married woman and who she's married to and whatnot so anyway, we're going to a second paid video. Thank you very much, bro. Um, we're going to get you, what we're going to do is I'm going to answer your question here. We're going to get you a program to follow with this sister. And uh, we're going to experiment with this here. And if it doesn't work, just hit me up and we're going we're gonna to do another video. You only got to pay me for another video unless you want to. So he says, disclaimer, as you may recall from the previous message, me and my dad are just working on dates for the wedding in the car. I asked the car to be earlier, took control. We will get there very soon, inshallah. I think it is my dad who is holding us up. Aha, us Pakistani men. <laughs> I guess his dad is blocking. Is this is a Pakistani man thing. I don't know what that means by he said us Pakistani men. I think he means they, they're the blockers sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta sort that out with your dad then, inshallah. Anyhow, I read the scripture from Surah An Nur about the hijab straight after you mentioned it to Rolo. Alhamdulillah. So he's, he's referring to the interview I did with Rolo Tomasi recently, and uh, in Surah Al-Nur is the verse about wearing hijab. Um, I've always had a rough idea, but now I can scientifically substantiate it. My fiance doesn't wear hijab. She comes from a family where her mom observes it, but not her sisters or her friends. Her father is not particularly observant, classic case of immigrants chasing dunya, worldly life, over the akhir, like meaning the, the afterlife. My family is not much better. However, my mom and sister wear the scarf over the head, so they wear hijab, they cover. Without resorting to ultimatums, what is the best way to get her to wear it? I've mentioned on two occasions that she should look good in it, or that she would look good in it, excuse me. I also said to her that she would need it on before the nikah, nikah meaning marriage. She Meaning he's saying, you know, you're gonna have to start wearing hijab, you're gonna have to start covering before you get married which is an important point to a lot of men, um, Muslim men. She seemed receptive, point being they're just words, not actions. Her actions so far tell me she digs me, but hijab is not negotiable. I know this about frame. Do I up the dread if she doesn't comply or simply get rid of her? I'm not someone to repeat myself. I, I know that very, this is one of my pet peeves and I always tell my women this, you know, I don't like repeating myself. So I understand it entirely. I'm not someone to repeat myself. She knows my expectations, but is uh, there a more effective way to approach this? Out of half is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get you a program to try and follow. And let's see if it works. Because this is hit and miss with women, you know. I mean, even though, you know, game works as a general whole, they are individuals and there's some things that are going to work on some women. And there's some things that are not going to work on women. But in general, uh, we know that women operate off of feelings and so we're going to give you a program to work off of feelings and this has been pre-approved i actually when i was in bonn i was up meeting a sister in a similar situation i went to bonn yesterday i'm back today i was meeting her about marriage non-hijabi a lot of problems um so i understand this was a serious stickler and negotiation point and she approved of my plan because I, I wrote this in front of her 
because I switched her off at a point. And I was like, you know what? I, I don't think I can mess with this girl. She's just too much of a hot mess. But she was like, what you're talking about is emotional man manipulation. She said, and it's very good. She's like, you know what you're doing with women. So this is pre-approved from a non-hijabi woman. She was like, that, that would work on me. What you're going to do is you're going to schedule several dates with her before the marriage. You're literally going to take her out, dinner, movies, whatever. I don't care. You pick, you choose how you want to do it. Day in the park. It doesn't have to be anything that costs you money. But you want it to be something special. You want it to be something nice. You want it to be something different and unique. At the end of that date, you want to have a surprise for her. I don't know. Figure something out. You, you know your woman. Um, something she likes and something you know she's going to enjoy. So here's what you're going to do. Before you pick her up, you're gonna, or before you go out, you say, hey, look, you know what? I'm going to need you to put hijab on. You know, we're going to go out, we're going to do something, but I need you to cover. Take her out. Make sure you have a very, very, very positive experience. And at the end or in the middle of the experience, break out whatever the surprise is, a gift or something. It doesn't have to be expensive. Remember, it's not it's not about the cost with women. It's about the, the intention and like it's something unique and special for her. And break it out and say, hey, you know what? Since you were such a good girl and you wore hijab, so I just want you to have this, this, that, the other. This is something like, you know, this is because you were such a good girl. Use the appropriate words and language. Don't try and sound like Abu American. Sound like you. Be you. Be congruent. You know, don't be incongruent. And she's going to be like, hey, what is this dude all of a sudden? Because that's just going to cause you a lot more problems. She's going to be suspicious. So now what you're doing is you are putting a positive association together with doing what you want her to do and wearing hijab, which is wearing hijab. So now she knows like, oh, when I wear hijab, this guy is so happy. He's so nice. You know, that he's going to do something for me. You might want to make it seem a little bit more spont spontaneous. Maybe have an idea of the surprise you want to give her and then take her there and then purchase it or whatever else or show it to her. I, I don't know. Pick it and then uh, spring the surprise on her more uh, spontaneously as, as opposed to something pre-planned. Now, in the same note, this might not work. She might like, ah, I'm not going to go. So go do whatever it was that you were going to do that's special and then send her pictures. Now she has a negative association like, oh, dang, I wish I would put the hijab on and gone with him. That would have been fun. I would rather be out with him right now having fun than you know, in hijab than being at home bummed out. Make sure it's something special, you know, and uh, just rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. All you're doing is positive association in terms of her emotions. Because remember, women are not about logic and reason. You give her the ayat, you give her the hadith. That's the primary source, and she should take this out of the fear of Allah, but we know we're in the 21st century in the West. It's not always going to work like that, but you give her the hadith, you give her the ayat, and then you give her a positive association with her emotions from your actions. You do what I like, you wear hijab, something good happens for you. And this is why you don't want to make it expensive. This is why you want to try and limit it uh, in terms of something you know, with a cost because <laughs> you just get expensive, dude. You know, if you're going to do this every time you go out, what the hell, you know? Not only are you going to have to start thinking of things like, you know, all the time to be even more and more original because what you did before doesn't count a second time with women. Is that cool? It is what it is with women. But just make sure you have something that, you know, you can positively reinforce the actions that you see her doing that you want. Try that. Let me know how it works, and if it doesn't, if you want to drop a donation, you can drop a donation. You don't have to come back with a second paid video since we're experimenting here with you and your girl, you know, but again, this is pre-approved from another girl who doesn't wear her jab, and she's like 100% like, you know, I, I definitely wear it. <laughs> she's like, that's manipulation, and I like it. That's what she said. Um, so, but it might not work on your girl, but uh, let's see, and uh, if it does work, khalas, nice. If it doesn't, then we need to tweak it, we need to fine tune it, we need to find out what does work for you. All right, bro? Boom. This is your man, Abu American. You can find me on abuamerican.com. Launch of the new site is coming soon. If you have a dire question, situation, or whatnot, you can go to the pre launch of the site, abuamerican.net, and you can fill out your forms, and whatnot. You can pay there, all my costs, and whatnot, for the videos, but that is just like, what do you call it? The site's just, we're going to switch to .com to .net. Al's working on it. My, my IT guy, he's an amazing dude. You know, the dude is a freaking beast. Dude, I love you. And, um, um, yeah, you can fill out your forms and whatnot and go there. Otherwise, catch me on Twitter, 
at Abu American. All right, guys, I'm out.